Does this build have you burnt out? Burnt out. Completely burnt out. My goodness guys look at before we get to work on the lamborghini urus i do want to give a huge shout out to fishing clash for sponsoring today's video fishing clash has been one of our favorite games to play while we're building this brand new house right here and since we've been doing a lot of waiting around waiting on workers probably at lunch taking naps whatnot this has been the perfect game to play right here to keep us entertained Woo! got me an atlantic tarpon you can travel all around the world and fish in different locations explore amazing fishing spots right at home. And here's a tip for any of you new players out there. Weight gain will help you catch bigger fish. I just caught a peacock bass using this feature. You guys gotta try it. It's seriously a game changer. Click on the link in the description or pinned comment or the QR code that you see on the screen and use gift code GoonSquad to get a $20 value reward for free. With our gift code, you'll get a unique avatar, one mythical lure card, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. To redeem our gift code GoonSquad, you just need to follow these three steps. So guys, be sure to support the channel and download Fishing and Clash. Now, back to the build. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad Garage and today we're going to continue working on our 2019 Lamborghini Urus. And as you guys seen in the previous video, a lot of action was happening over here. We popped off the rest of the quarter panel, popped off the roof, and of course we did our last major pulls. And I think this morning V tuned is out here and he's going to do a little bit more pulling, Yeah, so right? we need to do a little bit more pulling, basically get this entire structure back into its original spot. And we do have our measurements on that roof right there. See, that's why we didn't cut any of that apart. That's really smart, you know, because we can just transfer from that straight onto here, pull everything into position before we do any major cutting. Because exactly. once you cut, you can't go back. That's right, know? especially if you cut the structure. So we cut off like the quarter panel on the roof over here, but it's not structural, it's exactly. just body panels. That now it's time to actually get at some structural pieces once we do those pulls. And we still don't know exactly how we want to replace this damage right here, if we even want to get into that piece right there, because it may be super difficult to pop it off at the bottom right there. Yeah, you know see, what I mean? that's what I was thinking. Maybe we go ahead and replace this entire section in one go, so that way we don't have to mess with like any of the dimensions over there. And I was noticing it's kind of a weird damage. You can see right there, there's a crack right there and it's kind of pushing at the top. And this high strength steel, it's pretty hard to straighten out without doing more damage to it. Exactly. So I was thinking maybe we go like an entire full side of the car which I think would probably be the best option, but we do need to uh, dive into it, see exactly how everything comes apart. I was looking on a parts website and it turns out these pieces do uh, sell separately, so they're meant to be replaced separately. Mm -hmm. And hey, we're gonna have to just dive into it today. Dude, I thought in the previous video we did a lot of work, but we're about to do even a lot more work, especially with this high strength steel right here. It's gonna be a lot tougher to actually remove this stuff, but you know what? The three of us or the four of us, we're gonna attack it, we're gonna get it done, and hopefully this sucker will start getting put back together.
goodness, man, after hours and hours of working like with drill bits and a bunch of other epic tools. Finally, is there a fire back there? A little one, get some marshmallows right now. Man, put some marshmallows to it and call it a day, man. That was epic right there, But this dude. is what we needed. This is the last piece of the puzzle right here. And this is the first piece that we're gonna get started to repairing. I mean, this was crazy. This dude. is crazy, literally. Imagine this whole entire structure piece missing from that car. Dude, it's gonna look wild, oh, dude. Oh yeah, especially once we get it all off, cut it all off. Dude. That was tough right there. So we are working with some super high strength uh, rivets here and also over there. Over there, it was pretty simple and same for over there, very easy. And some glue, of course. And we had some epic tools to get the job done. Look at this sucker right here. That thing is a beast. Fix equipment, spot weld removal tool right here. And of course you get this little arm, like for like the, what do you call it? The pinch welds, slap it on right there. And it basically just applies pressure that way. And also it just kind of has that arm and literally you don't have to do any like muscling. Yeah, you, you know what I mean? You don't have to break your back trying to get out a couple of spot welds. Like Man, it's so nice. That was insane right there. And of course we got a bunch of other epic dent fix tools right here. Look at this clip popper, clip lifter kit right here. Here. these are not your little plastic clip poppers these suckers right here are extra heavy duty i want to show you guys this look at that i think that's stainless steel dude that is amazing right there look at this one man dude, these are not i mean we've never even had some nice clip poppers like all of ours are like plastic and they're always breaking and stuff like this these are we got a short set and then we got the extendo set right here for those hard to reach spots dude, dude. this is going to be a game changer everything that we've been using from dip fix equipment has been already a super Super just dude, amazing. Life has been nice. easier, dude. 100%. I'm telling dude. you. And <laughs> also, of yeah, well, I know, yeah, the stainless up. steel polish. And also, these bits right here that come with this kit right here, the spot weld removal tool, they are some high strength. Yeah, just look um, at the back of this right here. They, met, they sent us the the strongest one. The I don't even know how you how you call that name right there. Boron killers, dude. The cobalt killer. We got the titanium nitride coating. Man, them suckers are strong right there. And literally, we've been using one single bit to remove all those powerful um, powerful dude. rivets right yeah, there spot dude. welds spot, spot welds, welds. Yeah. yeah that's what these it is. are all strong high strength steel spot welds we got them all knocked out with this tool if it wasn't for this tool we'll still be here dude i'm telling <laughs> you it's already late we kind of got a late start on this video or early start on this video but late in the day as you guys can tell it's getting dark out there v tuned is already just ready to go right no sir we're mm -hmm. working we gotta get this car done in two more days <laughs> two days <laughs> imagine dude you'd literally have to be up all night all no, day that's, that ain't nothing right i mean just take off the old piece put it in the new piece so we're good to go dude. dang look how smoky it is in the garage we literally had to burn a lot of stuff and just kind of burn off panel bond a bunch of like this foam glue or whatnot but man that like, is isn't that crazy like, somebody used to drive this lamborghini and now it's just right here hey one lamborghini that used to be driven Two is going on to another or coming to one <laughs> that's true yeah man that's just insane but huge shout out to dent fix equipment literally they're just saving the day and of course huge shout out to v-tuned for guiding the day or guiding the way pretty much <laughs> and uh we're all just working together and honestly this would not be able to get done without like the four of us dude or it could it's be tough. done but it would take forever. it would just take way longer because like right now we have everybody like a couple people drilling and then chiseling yeah and you get tired around. of drilling so it's, you, it's nice you just pass on the drill bit <laughs> you take turns because this does require manpower Pops, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm ready to die here. You already tired? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we're just gonna call it a day and we're gonna come in tomorrow. And what do you say? Are we just gonna get onto that part? That actual yeah, part? we're just gonna get onto that right there. I mean, it's gonna be a lot easier because we don't have to save any of that. So we can't just get the belt sander and sand everything down. Yeah. And just rip that off the frame machine. And as you can see, we saved that piece right there. Then that's just gonna get fit perfectly into position over there. And hopefully tomorrow, maybe we can go ahead and test fit the doors, maybe put the quarter panels on and It'll be a complete car movie.
Alrighty guys, so check this out. We have just done a drop top conversion on this Lamborghini Urus or a drop side because we just removed the top, the side, all the damaged structural pieces on this Lamborghini Urus and it looks absolutely insane. Let's just show you guys a little bit closer and how's it looking in your eyes, It's dude? looking pretty good. I mean, we didn't find anything uh, hidden damage or anything like that inside there and hey, we're just moving along here. We are moving right along and the next step is to probably do a little bit more pulling. You said this right here is a little bit pushed in so this should be a pretty yeah, simple pull. Yeah, it should be a pull. pretty simple pull. It's pretty, it's pretty thin. So just yep. yank that out a little bit and then we'll be good to go. Yes, and sir. then the next thing that we're gonna move on to is probably cleaning that up right yeah, there, Yeah, we right? gotta clean off all this panel ball and probably get some wire wheels, belt sanders, whatever we gotta do because this stuff right here, the purple panel bond, super tough. Black stuff comes off super easy. We just got to make sure it's clean because the new panel bond is going to go on there. It has to stick well and all that good stuff. Then once we do that, I think it'll be ready to actually start throwing in our good piece, our yes. good structure, inner structure, start test fitting things, pull in a little bit of things, and maybe even start putting it in for good. Exactly, dude. man. And the way that we took it out is pretty crazy. We took it out in sections just to kind of make it a little bit easier. And I gotta say, this right here, dude, looks like an art piece. We're gonna sell this to downtown Chattanooga for lots of money right here. But anyways, got that off. We're almost ready to test fit the new panels, which is gonna, or the new roll cage, basically. Once we put it, that's what you call it, almost. Yeah, I mean, it's it is a, technically a roll cage for the cars <laughs> yeah the side structure we'll test fit it here in a little bit and then we can start test fitting some body panels and of course we still got to remove some of these inner structure pieces right here which that's super easy but anyways we got some pizza on the way we're about to sauce it up with some dang sauce some barbecue sauce and then we're gonna get right back to work Alrighty guys, so check this out. We are moving right along and we just got done doing our last final pulls to this section right here, but I think we might have to do a little bit more once we remove this inner structure piece and actually test fit it on right there. But then after that, we went ham and we started cleaning off all this panel bond here, up there, everywhere. The panel bond is completely removed and we test fitted this structure piece right here, which it is not flexible. As you guys can tell, we got it shoved in over here, but over down here, it's not really wanting to go into place because there's some things that are obstructing. What do you think we could do to get it the in? The best dude? way we're gonna have to do up here is basically start removing more panels because that's what the, you have to do whenever you're doing an entire piece just like this right here. Instead of splitting it all into pieces, we wanted to do it as one piece so that way all the doors fit up perfectly. And I think the next step is gonna be go ahead and taking all this stuff apart right here, doing a couple more spot uh, drilling out and stuff like that. Maybe peel this panel back a little bit and slip that in perfectly. Dude, yes. And as soon as that sucker slips into place, then I think we're gonna probably pop it back out and probably bring in like some panel bonds, some structural mm -hmm. adhesive, and then this thing can go in for good and man. And then after that, I think everything is literally just gonna pop into place. We're not gonna have to do too much pulling because this is original stuff it's right original here. Original is perfect. Man. That's what. That's the awesome thing about that. Like up there, like you know how hard these spot welds were to drill out. Wow. So in order to just to separate that right there, we probably have to go through another 50 yeah, drill Yeah, exactly. So you guys are probably thinking, why don't you guys just do it in sections? Literally, that stuff right there, just to split apart, is gonna probably take like five days right there, dude. Easily, <laughs> man. I'm telling you. And we don't wanna mess with that because the doors are gonna align perfectly if we leave all man, that intact. I cannot wait to start test fitting like body panels, quarter panels, all that good stuff. But anyways, we got a lot of work on our hands just removing this right here. But you know what? We're making amazing progress. What do you say? Let's just dive right into it.
goodness, guys, look at what we have here. So finally, we figured out what we were gonna do with this front section, and you actually came up with an idea of kind of just slicing it, yeah, basically. Yeah, we did a little bit of an operation there, which I think it's gonna work out perfectly. Honestly, dude, this is um, gonna be strong, nice and stout. So what we ended up doing is actually there's this inner piece, and we kind of just sliced it right there because to remove all that, it would be literally a, a nightmare pretty much, right? Yeah, and you'd be messing with the original structure of like the doors and stuff, so we just left it all in there. We just basically cut the top skin off and it's Dude. Been perfect. And it finally popped into place right there, right there, and also in the back right there. And we even like riveted a few sections, so it literally fell right into original spot, oh, that man. Looks good. This Dude. is insane. And look at this. We threw on the outer skin. We kind of had to adjust these clamps, kind of remove them for a little bit. Threw on the doors, and look at that, man. That lines up about near perfect. Of course, we can now still was, adjust yeah, it. We just put those hinges on. That's the first. We didn't even do any adjusting. Now, I mean, we can do our adjusting, see how everything lines up, and I think it's looking good. Exactly, man. That looks insane up there. It's almost looking like it's completed. So after, um, basically, we test fit everything, I think then we're actually going to take everything apart once again, clean it up, like, finally, like, like every little bit of it, right? Yep. Clean it up, and I, I did order some glue, and what happened? <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong Panabon. I don't know what that was. It was a tiny little bottle of Panabon. We need, like, four bottles on this thing so we ended up calling a local place they're gonna get that in probably tomorrow which is perfect because we're gonna have we're gonna probably start gluing this in for good dude. for good i think in the next video everything is gonna literally start going back together from the inner structure to like the outer structure to every little bit and piece and then we can start um i guess putting the interior back together before you know yeah, it dude I mean, the cool thing is gonna be you're not gonna have to really do any spot welding on the top or anything like that I mean, no body work either. Yes. It's crazy how these panels go on. Honestly, I feel like it's always best to avoid body work as much as you possibly can because having body work on a car like this is kind of like, it's kind of tacky, you know what I mean? Yep. Knowing that you got a bucket of Bondo on it. What do, what do you think about a bucket of Bondo <laughs> on this man. thing, dude? I mean, I don't put buckets on anything that I work on. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. So this is just amazing. I am just loving how everything is turning out right now. And I think uh, definitely it's time to, you know, relax, kick back, Pull out your beach chair and just stare Maybe off you into do the some abyss. Donuts and something. Maybe some donuts or donuts. something. Donuts. We can do donuts and we can uh, eat donuts yeah. because, dude, I think we all deserve it after this right here. But, guys, that's going to be it for today. We appreciate all the love and support. Drop your comments and thoughts down below, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. And don't forget, guys, you can help support the channel by downloading Fishing Clash. The link is going to be down in the description. Thank you guys for watching.